Whangatele Bay is the, the mother of all the marine protected areas that the National Marine Sanctuary uh, protect here in American Samoa. In order to get to Whangatele Bay, contact the National Marine Sanctuary and there's a, a gatekeeper there that will take you down to the beach and explain to you why Whangatele Bay is so special and uh, why all the different species there is very important to us and why we need to preserve it. I usually stay down there where the gate at, like I'm a gatekeeper and you know, I welcoming people and uh, gave them a brochure for Whangatele Bay National Marine Sanctuary and taking them down there and show the trail down there where to go. My grandfather is a Fuimono. He's high chief for Aloao and Asu. And uh, he's the uh, first high chief, went to the Washington DC for Congress. When I grew up, uh, my grandpa and my dad told us, that's our land, this side and this side, and we got a big land, so that's why that we protect the area. Because people, especially um, tourist people wants to hike, they hike from that side to here, and here through that side of Waitangi, where the turtle and the shark is. And hiking down to Whangatele Bay, you learn about something new. Either the different trees, or the different sounds of the birds. And then you, by the time you get down to the beach, you're ready to go for a good snorkel or dive. And then by the time you get in the ocean, you see all the different fish, different species of corals and stuff like that. So it's always a treat to go snorkel or dive in Fontele Bay. The thing that is so special about Fangatili National Marine Sanctuary is because there's a lot of, of fish down there and plus it's, uh, it's many kinds of different corals and, and different kinds of things like sharks, whales and other kinds of species down there. Because it's, it's a special place and I advise our Samoan people and our elders to take their families down there and look around and observe what we have. It's something very special that we have there. Um, we have all the different species of corals that are not found in some other places in the world. And we also have green sea turtles, oxbill sea turtles. We have dolphins that will go once in a while in the bay. We also have humpback whales and some of these things I've never learned before until I got to the National Marine Sanctuary. It's a no-take zone area. That's why it's healthier down there because people won't take fish or something like that. That's why it's so many fish down there and many species. There's a fresh water coming out of that cliff. Basically, when you hike down to Fangatele Bay, you get sweaty and then there's mosquitoes and you want to wash your face with this fresh water. And that is the first spot I go visit after the dive or snorkel. I wanted to get a nice cold bath there in Fangatele Bay with that fresh water. There's this massive futu tree right on the beach. And in the olden days, our forefathers used to use the fruit of the futu tree to create poison. And uh, they also used it for tattooing. And uh, the futu tree has a beautiful flower. And early in the morning, you see all these colorful flowers on the beach. And it's one of the greatest things I remember growing up. People, especially tourists, they come and they went down there and after they swimming and hiked down there and they came up and they told me, oh, Pio, it's awesome down there. And I told them, oh yeah? And they were so happy and 